What are you up to now? Perhaps a hybrid? Bouncing tentacle. I've finished the activities you assigned me, Professor Garlic. Wonderful! I hope you gained a greater appreciation for the flora in our lives. I am forever enraptured by it. Just yesterday, I spent hours pruning my self-fertilizing shrubs and flutterby bushes. Didn't realize how long I'd been at it until the sun began to set. Well, if there's one thing I love to see more than my plants thriving, it's one of my students doing the same. Now, ready to learn flippendo? Chin up, keep a light grip, and it's all in the wrist. Let's see you give it a go. You will want to focus with this spell. Nothing as mortifying as knocking back a colleague when all you wanted to do was move a few pots. Wonderfully done! If you'd like to practice a bit more, you're welcome to do so here in the greenhouse. Mind the plants, please. Flipendo. Look at that. You're a natural. Professor Garlic, a moment of your time? The plants are resting, so now's as good a time as any. Apologies, Professor. Perhaps later. Not to worry. I'll be here if you'd like to talk. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. The greenhouse won't keep... Oh, it's you! Just the person I need. Samantha, is everything all right? No. No, it's not. It's my brother William. He's... he's been cursed. He ignored my warning and now he's lying in St. Mungo's looking completely pathetic. He simply never listens. I'm sorry, how exactly has he been cursed? Oh, you won't believe it. Truly, but his feet were turned into purple beets. You can imagine his distress. And mine. I won't even go into the attention he was getting from our garden rabbits before he admitted himself to hospital. I'm so sorry. That sounds like a trying situation. I'm glad you understand. Everyone else just laughs at me as if it's a joke. No compassion at all. Well, it is an unusual situation. How did your brother end up like this? It's entirely his own fault. I told him about some research I'd done recently on our ancestor Marmaduke Dale. In particular, my discovery that Marmaduke's tomb was cursed. My brother's always making fun of my discoveries. This time, he laughed in my face told me I'd misinterpreted my findings. As if that weren't possible. And to prove his point, he went right up to the entrance of the tomb, and poof! His feet transfigured into beets. How awful. I can see why you're upset. He definitely needs some help. Exactly. He may be a cape flapper, but he's still my brother. And no one deserves such a fate to last forever. Especially as the result of a single brainless mistake. Now I worry that if the curse isn't reversed, it could become permanent. Can't the curse be broken? Possibly. The curse stems from a crest that was stolen from Marmaduke. If the crest were returned to its rightful place upon his sarcophagus, then I believe that William's feet may be restored. You battled trolls when they attacked Hogsmeade, escaped a dragon, and I could tell by your work and charms that you're a skilled spellcaster. Returning a crest to a sarcophagus should be almost effortless for you. So, will you help us? How do you know it's safe? I don't want my feet to turn into beats as well. Oh, but the curse only applies to Marmaduke's descendants as my brother so aptly demonstrated. That's why I need your help. You're unrelated to my family, so the curse wouldn't affect you. Why was Mom Duke's tomb cursed? The curse is the result of an intense sibling rivalry between Granham Dale and his younger brother, Marmaduke. Marmaduke was a famed herbologist, and Granham resented the attention that he received. Sibling rivalry? Sounds as if it might run in the family. 
But I would never intentionally curse my brother, not like Granham did. When their mother died, Marmaduke was given the prized family crest. Granham felt that as the eldest child, he should have been given it. Years later, when Marmaduke died, Granham stole it and cursed the tomb so that none in the Dale family could ever pay their respects. I can take the crest to Marmaduke's sarcophagus for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. You'll simply go into the tomb where Marmaduke was laid to rest and place the crest on top of his sarcophagus. According to my research, the tomb's been abandoned for centuries, so it should be a fairly simple task. You'll find it just east of the hamlet of Brockborough. Thank you for your help. My family is indebted to you. to find the tomb near Brockborough and place Samantha's family crest on a sarcophagus there. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before. Let's go! Come on, High Wing! High Wing! Go! Levioso, Accio, Arresto Momentum. What do you have in store for me this time? Wonder who lives here?
Levioso. Arresto Momentum. Accio. Protego. Too many. Revelio. Take him. Mysterious and a bit unsettling. What to do? Everything's all right now. Well, my feet didn't turn into beads. That's a good start. would use devil snare.
Sarcophagus. This must be Marmaduke. That should reverse the curse. Hopefully. Revelio. Duke certainly left behind more than plants. Revelio.
Samantha will be glad to hear that the crest has been returned. Off on another adventure, are we? I'm happy to tell you that I returned the crest to Marmaduke's sarcophagus just as you asked. I thought as much. I received word from St. Mungo's that my brother's feet are back to normal. No more beats. Oh, I cannot thank you enough. It wasn't too much trouble, I hope. Well, there was a troll in the tomb. A troll? Oh dear, I'm so sorry, that's awful. No one has been in that tomb for centuries. But I can't say I'm surprised. Marmaduke seems to have been full of surprises. Indeed he was. Well, I suppose I should be going. I'm anxious to see my brother, who must be elated to have his feet back. Of course, I certainly would be. William and I are forever in your debt. Thank you again for what you did. Good friend. Rebellion. Should let Deke know about the newborn Thestral. Hello, Deke. You'll be pleased to know that a little Thestral was born. How wonderful to have more Thestrals in our world. Such misunderstood beasts. I'm sorry that we can both see Thestrals, Deke. Deke is privileged to see such majestic beasts. But sometimes wishes Deke couldn't. Deke is to blame. What do you mean, to blame? Years ago, Deke's master ordered Deke to help him capture a phoenix, the rarest of all beasts, that master had spotted high on a cliff. The phoenix was the most beautiful beast Deke had ever seen. Deke begged Master to leave her be. When Deke hesitated to climb up the cliff as ordered, Deke had to punish himself. As Deke punished himself, Master grew angrier and angrier, and in his frustration cast at the regal bird. 
Deke suspects the phoenix was protecting eggs when it swooped down in fear and fury. Before Deke could reach him, Master fell from the cliff. Deke stayed on that cliffside for days, punishing himself before Tobbs found him. What a horrible tale, Deke. I'm so sorry. Deke has only told Professor Weasley that story. And now yourself. Deke often wonders what became of that phoenix. Deke feels fortunate to be at Hogwarts now, helping you rescue beasts. Perhaps Deke can make amends for what came before. Clever? How offensive. Next. Fine, a genius. Hello, Mr. Moon. Oh, greetings! Uh, any luck removing some more of those demiguy statues? I actually have some moons for you. Oh, my mind feels lighter already knowing those statues are gone. I did promise to show you how to improve casting Alahamora once you'd brought me enough moons. Oh, with that knowledge, you'll be able to break open even stronger locks. Mm. However, we don't yet know who's behind these statues. Still plenty of the foul things lying in wait to torture me. Oh. If you bring me more moons, I'll show you how to cast the most powerful form of Alohomora known to wizard kind. <laughs> At least known to me. Keep looking for those moons, hmm? You'll save my sanity and we may get to the bottom of whoever's behind all of this. Hello, Mr. Moon. Oh, greetings. Uh, any luck removing some more of those demiguy statues? I actually have some moons for you. Oh, yes. Uh, do keep up the good work. Where should I look for more demiguy statues and moons? All of my usual haunts, uh, which, as you know, have now become quite haunting. Here in the castle, in Hogsmeade, and, believe it or not, in some of the surrounding hamlets. My tormentor is nothing if not thorough. I haven't left the castle in ages, and I'm constantly on edge. I'll keep an eye out for more demiguy statues and see if I can bring you more moons. I commend you for your courage and valour, especially since they can only be collected at night. Revelio. Alohomora. Rebellio.
Revelio. Alohomora. Rebellion. Hello, Hamora. Revelio. Lumos. Rebellion. Alohomora. Revelio. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Is Highwing all right? Natty told me what the two of you did. Highwing's fine. I'm keeping an eye on her. She's safe, Poppy, I promise. Good. Whatever the poachers are up to, I want Highwing far from it. 
You said you had news about the poachers, and that some of it had to do with me. It did. I overheard them talking in the Hogshead, and... Did you know that they have orders from Victor Rookwood to capture you on sight? Does this have anything to do with Rookwood and Harlow coming for you in the Three Broomsticks after the troll attack? It does, somewhat. But at the moment, I'm more concerned about what else you heard the poachers are up to. Fair enough. But I hope you'll let me know if I can be of help, especially after what you did for Highwing. Does the name Hauntel Hall mean anything to you? I'm afraid not. Why? What is it? The poachers best kept secret, apparently. The name came up twice, but they never went into detail. I also overheard one of them bragging about all the gold they're making, at the expense of innocent creatures, undoubtedly. The poachers spoke of this area, and I thought if we searched around a bit, it might give us clues as to what they're doing. If you ever meet my gran, this trip never happened. Keeping things from Gran, are we? I normally tell her everything. She might be my best friend after Highwing, but she knows how I feel about the poachers. I think she worries I'll do something ill-advised. Whatever gave her that idea? This way. Tread carefully. An entire castle to roam, yet you choose to wander here. Please, we don't want any trouble. We're simply passing through. Do you take us for fools? That we do not notice more and more of your kind around here, in league with the poachers? We aren't involved with them. If anything, we want to see them stopped. I hope for your sake that is true. Our kind is swiftly losing patience with the poachers and those they work with. He was certainly a charmer. That could have gone worse. Centaurs aren't exactly fans of wizard kind, and the poachers aren't helping matters. But why would he think that we had anything to do with poachers? I did notice the poachers talking with a few villagers in Hogsmeade. I'm not sure why. Perhaps that's why the centaurs are suspicious. Confringo! That's the Arrest thing! Arrest momentum! I've seen a dugbog behave that violently. It seems that a lot of beasts have been more aggressive than usual lately. I've noticed that too. It's almost like there's something in the water. This is... odd. What is it? Not entirely sure, but look around. If the poachers were here, perhaps we can find out why. Why wouldn't they take their cages with them when they left? Revelio. Pelt. Poor beasts. Still smoking. They can't have been gone long. Goblin metal. Seems out of place in a poacher camp. I should tell Poppy about it. Anything interesting? Poachers were here. All sorts of evidence. But I found something else. It's goblin made. I found goblin armor. Let's keep searching, but carefully. 
Merlin only knows what's going on here. I don't have a good feeling about this. How do goblin and poacher interests align? Look, down there. Definitely poachers. No creatures, though. So what are they doing out here? Let's take a closer look. They won't be happy to see us. Should we use disillusionment? Or perhaps a less discreet approach? Hard to say from up here. Let's get a better lay of the land. One of the little bastards scratched me. I reckon I can see myself getting away from here and not taking a one of you with me, since you've all turned yourselves into a pack of jarvies. You can feed a beast, or it can feed you, if you get my meaning. Gah! Never get lost, me. Always got me wits about me. You find yourself roaming the land like a little lost lamb. You only need to cast your ear to my voice, because I'll know exactly where I am. You can blindfold me and I'll for safety. Skill days. What me mother taught me. Proper skill. Suppose he's worth a look. Revelio. Come to think of it, months ago I had a brooch. Nice it was. Sparkled like the glint in my eyes when I find out which one of you thieving lot stole it. Merlin, you'd think they were guarding the Minister for Magic himself. What is going on here? Only one way to find out. What in Merlin's name? Are those dragons?
dragon fighting room. This is Horntel Hall. The name makes sense now, and secrecy. No wonder the poachers were in Hogsmeade so much. Likely taking bets and spreading the word, given how crowded it is here. How could they possibly enjoy this? The centaurs have every right to be disgusted with wizard kind. There must be more dragons here. The poachers are far too greedy to run a fighting ring with only two dragons. We should take advantage of most eyes being in the fight and look around. But be discreet. You especially can't afford to be spotted. Don't know what Victor was thinking of. Oh, it's no talent. Have you heard from your family? Has either of your brothers come to the world way of thinking? Will they join us? Ah, they say we go too far. The violence is going to be what we want. <laughs> I say, if every last wizard is run through with a blade, then violence is going to get me precisely what I want. Sickens me to work alongside any of them. Don't know how Ramrock's stomach's being near Rookwood, foul beast. Not much longer now. Soon our necks will be out from under wizarding boots. Wizard kind will pay for what they've done. Did you hear those goblins? Ramrock and the poachers must be working together. Poppy, something's going on behind you. What's going on down there? They must have only just captured her. She's putting up quite a fight. Not a fair one, though. Not with her chained up like that. Let's even hold, shall we? Look, they've got a dragon egg. Hebridean from the looks of it. We can't leave it here, not with the plans they likely have for it. All right, I have the egg. Ready. The element of surprise will only buy us a few seconds. Let's make them count.
You're the one we're looking for, and you brought our freight. You're not for sure. What is it, you? One less human to fight. Hebridean Black. I'm guessing the egg we have belongs to that dragon. I don't think she knew they had her egg. She wouldn't have left without it. What now? She didn't exactly leave us a calling card. I, I don't know. Nothing about this day was expected. Not the goblins and definitely not the fighting ring. The last thing I planned on was a dragon egg. And the poachers saw us, which cannot be good. Since the dragon we freed flew off, does that mean we get to keep the egg? I'd much rather we have it than the poachers, at least for now. But I don't think we should keep it indefinitely. It'll be hard hiding something like this from Professor Weasley for long. Should we expect trouble from the poachers, given the trouble we just caused? It'd be foolish not to expect it. They're not a forgiving lot. I'm sorry to say that you likely have a larger target on your back now because of what we just did. We aren't helping ourselves standing here. Let's get to safety. We can sort this out later. You're right. If there's anything the poachers are good at, it's tracking their prey. And right now, we're it. Be careful, won't you? I shall see you back at the castle.
Revelio. It's time you learned the transformation spell. After you've completed the required tasks, which I'm certain will prove useful in finishing your field guide, attend my class to learn the new <sighs> spell. Afterwards, we will discuss your progress thus far in the term. Nice to see you, my young friend. Levioso, Arresto Momentum. This looks intriguing. There, there. Not going to hurt you. Levioso, Accio, Glacius, Defender. Arresto momentum. Do cooperate, won't you? These rocks have seen better days. Well, if you weren't so forgetful, we'd probably have more, wouldn't we? 
my loyalties to Rookwood and no one else. Revelio. Thing worth learning from civilized. I believe she has learned about Revelio. I'm hoping she may be easier on me if you are there. Ah. Can we meet at the three broomsticks? It may finally be safe since we rescued the dragon from Horntel Hall. I've been oh, to several us. times. Can't understand why more don't. They're remarkable. Who lived here? I would. Likely we'll need... <laughs> This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Rebellion. Incendio. Yeah. <sighs> 
Arresto momentum. Shame you're so foul. A castle must have been quite stately in its time. Confringo, arrest the momentum. Now, arrest the moment. Levioso. Levioso. Arrest the moment. Uh. Assignments all finished. Arresto momentum. Everything's all right. 
right now. Excellent work today. Class dismissed. I take it you're ready to learn... I completed your assignment, Professor. I'm ready to learn Bombarda now. Good. Now, this spell comes with a caveat. It should only be used when necessary. The exploding charm, as you might suspect, can hurt people. Use caution when casting it. Is this something we should be learning in school? Better for you to learn it in school, where we can instruct you properly as to its use, hmm? Now, you must be precise in your wand movements. We don't want you blowing your hand off. Go ahead. Nice and steady wand movements. Remember, the exploding charm is highly volatile. Well done. Now, let us put it into practice, shall we? Go ahead. And On the pumpkins. Bombarda! Excellent wand work. Cast the spell just like that every time, assured and in control. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade?
Over here. This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought of that tent still makes my blood boil. I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting ring. The collars they were wearing, they appeared to be goblin silver. I think a collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp. I've never known poachers to use anything like that before. The dragon that attacked my carriage was wearing a collar, and Professor Fig was genuinely baffled by its behavior. That attack always did strike me as a little strange, seemingly coming out of nowhere. Surely you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow control the poor creatures? Exactly. Merlin, I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if we can find her, we can return her egg. That's a good idea. We need to see this through. I'll start looking into it right away. There was something else that I wanted to discuss with you. I didn't want to press it before. It seems I may have caused you more trouble with Victor Rookwood. Why is he after you? Rookwood is working with Ranrock, and Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Fig had a portkey that led us there after the dragon attack. It's a bit of a long story, and Fig had asked that I not speak of it yet. Goodness. Well, that certainly helps to shed light on what we saw at the tent. Don't worry, I'll guard your secret as if it were my own. I shan't press for more details. In fact, I should probably be going. I'd like to track that dragon down as soon as I can. I'll let you know when I have news of her location. Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine. Willetsy. Charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest. Told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. It's silly, but I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? I do, yes, if you wouldn't mind. What were the horrible stories you were told about the Forbidden Forest? Oh, goodness, everything from students being mysteriously beheaded to terrifying spider dens. Oh, trust me, you hear that at 11 years old, it sticks with you. Very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind. Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. Don't forget, the butterflies always seem to be on the fringes of the Forbidden Forest. Good luck. Rebellion. Not saying I don't cast the odd cleaning spell when no one's looking for a Not a day goes by. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Akia! She wasn't making it up. Well, we've come this far. Miss Willardsy might get an answer about these butterflies. Defender! Protego! Glacius!
we have here. Bombarder. Levioso. Propendo. Glacius. Accio. Propendo. Revelio. Aloha Mora. What do we have here? A demigod. Mine now, demigod. Alohomora. to save the village from oh, those... Oh, please tell me you have an answer for me about the butterflies. Hello, Miss Willardy. Well, what happened? Did you find them? They led me into the forest and revealed a treasure. Oh, how lovely! I'm glad you were rewarded for your efforts. <sighs> Perhaps one day I'll be able to bring myself to go into the forest. For now, I'm happy simply knowing there's something so lovely to see, should I dare. Revelio. Alohomora. Revelio. 